What's good YouTube, it's Castle Scope back with another video. In today's video, you're gonna be seeing my version two of how I complete jersey swaps. Version one, I pretty much took the whole jersey and warped it to make it fit. And sometimes you can't do that, like when you can't find the right pictures or no matter what the circumstances, a lot of times you can't do that. So in this version, I'm gonna be showing you how to take separate pieces and put them all together to complete a very clean jersey swap. <music> First step obviously would be to get your photo that you're gonna you're gonna want to swap, and then for this I also have two pictures of Alex Caruso that I'm gonna be swapping um, Damian Lillard to the Lakers. But here we go. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is unlock your layer, and I'm gonna mask him out first. So I'll fast forward through this, but I use the pen tool over here or shortcut V, and then I'm gonna just make a mask of Damian Lillard. Okay, so now I got Damian Lillard all masked out. You see, use the pen tool, you select mask, get the hair out, the frizzy. So now it looks more realistic. All right, so the next step that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna clear out Damian Lillard's jersey of all his, like, the Nike signs, the Portland, like all the details of the jersey, clear that all out. And how I'm gonna be doing this, I'm gonna use the lasso tool for the most part, or I might switch to the pen tool, but I'm gonna use the lasso tool and I'm gonna go around an area like this, say if I have Portland, and I'm gonna see how good of a job. All right, so everything's pretty much masked out. For As far as the sleeves and the uh, short detail, I don't need to do that just yet because with the with these parts of, his, of Alex Russo's jersey, oh, it's loading in. With these parts of Alex Crusoe's jersey, it's gonna cover up the sleeves for the most part. And then what I'm gonna do once I see like the excess, I'll use the uh, clone stamp tool, which is, which it, what is it? I think it's S for a shortcut. And then you're gonna alt click and you can get rid of stuff like that. So, all right, so now I'm gonna take the pen tool and I'm gonna just mask out the sleeves. And then I'm gonna mask it out. I'm gonna delete the layer mask on the second one just because I'm gonna need another, I'm gonna need a couple more of these, so I'll just make duplicate copies. All right, so I'm gonna paste this jersey sleeve. So boom. Um, also, what you guys might wanna do is, I, I make all of my my uh, pictures four by five, so that, that's just a side note that you can use. Four by five is like max Instagram size. I don't know what you're gonna be wanting to use this on. You have to do that in the beginning, so I just did it right there, but. Um, so what I do now is I have the jersey sleeve and I'm gonna name it I don't know why the L is in front of there, but it's all right and then convert it to a smart object, right? so I'm converting oh, what did I convert to a smart object Wrong thing. All right, so I'm converting the sleeve to a smart object So if I shrink it and then want to bring it back up to size it doesn't lose quality because when you when you do that without without uh, converting it to a, a smart object or something like that, it loses quality. Now I'm gonna use just like simple things, simple fundamental things, just to get it looking exactly like this. This uh, sleeve underneath, and I'm gonna use the warp tool. What I'm using is the warp tool right now. You just right click, and then you'll see warp. <laughs> Don't be worried, guys. Like, if it's not your best selection, like, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this this selection. Like, it matches with this one, but I, th I feel like if it was straighter, it'd be better. But don't even worry about it at the beginning, because you can just, you'll be able to fix it later. Now I'm doing the same thing, and I'm flipping it, and I'm gonna put it back on him again. And I'm just gonna match it up once again. All right, that looks good. This one looks good, but this one I'm not really liking. But um, we're gonna leave it for now, and then we'll go back if need be. Now I'm gonna mask out the collar. See, we're just getting all the pieces and putting them together. So 
yeah so what I'm going through right now is that this black part it's not supposed to be there so I'm not gonna worry too much about it right now but I wanted to clean up a, at least a little bit of on the first one and this part of it and we're gonna keep on adding the parts of the jersey all right okay so what we have to do here guys is since he's at such an angle where his his uh the logo of the Lakers wouldn't be there. That wouldn't make any sense. I'm going to have to move it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this selection. I'm going to make a selection around it, like a little square selection or something like this. All right. So say I got that right there, a little square selection. All right. Now we're going to choose select, save selection, and I'm going to say belt replace. That's going to be the name of it. So we got belt replaced, right? Now, I'm taking a different part of the belt. And this is just going to have to morph. Okay, so then I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to, by control C, then I'm going to control D. And save. So now we have our belt selection. We're going to load that selection. Oh, no. Selection. Load selection. Belt replace. Now we have that. And now I'm gonna go to edit, paste, and paste into. Okay, so we got the belt all situated. Pretty much what you have to do is just make the selection that you paste into there big enough, and then you can use a mixer tool to, to get all the extra stuff out. The mixer tool is in the brushes, and you can alt click to use like points that would make sense to mix out whatever you're trying to mix out and blend it. But for night right now, I made a copy of the jersey and I'm gonna put the saturation down to zero. This is what I just usually do. And I'm gonna use hue and saturation. I'm gonna see if colorize works. We have to get it to the yellow color. And you just gotta work with it. Or maybe use something else if this doesn't work. So we're back, y'all. I had a little bit of struggle trying to find the right color, but look at look at look at all these adjustment panels, man. Just to do the on the one, they're all clipped as adjustment panels. What I gotta tell you guys is, don't get the discouraged when you see all these adjustment panels, cause like once you guys get familiar and comfortable with swapping and stuff like that, you'll have to use a lot because what and especially what you don't want to do is use hue saturation and then put colorize on and then just don't never just like white it out and then change color because see there's no detail on the jersey so just take your time with it and it'll come out really nice so yeah just utilize these these uh layers right here color balance hue and saturation selective color those are some of my favorites but now our next step is going to be to continue getting all the details from the caruso jersey onto uh damian lillard's jersey okay <laughs> seeing that this might have to go down even a little bit more yep and I'll take the Nike sign I'm gonna try to blend it the blending options don't really work oh it works for this one so using blending options you move this slider around right and then you're gonna also press alt to to feather it and you don't want to feather too much but you want to feather it so that it looks real and you're taking that second point Press an Alt or Command if you're on a Mac and feather that out.
All right, so we got our number zero, Kyle Kuzma. Uh, this picture is really dull, so I'm definitely have to brighten up the zero, but that will all come within time. So for right now, let's mask out his zero. And I'm using the pen tool once again, my favorite tool. Now I made a whole selection around it. To get rid of the, the inside part, you just make another selection and then you're gonna subtract from your selection. So right click once again, make selection. We're gonna subtract this time. And I don't even need to make a mask. I know it's a zero, so let's just keep the simple stuff simple, you know? And we're gonna paste the zero. And then I'm going to use my reference of where it should kind of go. He's in a sort of different perspective, but we know pretty much what it should look like. You should just know what it looks like, man. Just That's a big part of it, just knowing what the number would look like and how, how big it's going to be. It's going to be like that big probably. Now I'm going to add a little bit of color balance to it to try to brighten it up. Excuse the hue and saturation. Okay, so the only last two things that I'm going to want to do for this, um, I see this is messy. So I'm going to delete that off of it. And then I'm going to use the mixer brush because that red's still showing. Mixer brush, Alt, and then we're going to just get that out. Let's see. Oh, this jersey's showing. There we go. Here we go. So we have to delete this first. I'm gonna go over that. Then we have to go over this as well. There were so many under jersey copies. You just gotta check. Press V. I make a lot of extra copies when I'm making stuff. And then now we can go in and get that right out. All right. So the jer the Lakers usually have yellow sleeves and the sleeve is not yellow obviously so let's go ahead and make this sleeve yellow and we're gonna make a mask of it if you guys are enjoying this video make sure you drop a like and if it's your first time and you want to see more of this let me know in the comment section below and sub up to the channel so you know every time I post a new video And then you're going to do the same steps pretty much that you did to change the color of a jersey. Just be patient, and eventually the uh, color is going to change to what you want to see. Okay, so now we got our color that we like. And I'm going to use a little plug-in because I, I see, see all that noise happening on. I'm going to use denoise to make this look smoother. And if you guys need Topaz denoise, just let me know. And I can drop a little tutorial on that as well. See, look, this is before, and I'm using denoise. And it's going to be smooth and clean after. See how smooth that is? Love this app. I should drop actually actually drop a Topaz denoise thing for you guys. I'll, I'll drop that soon. Just let me know in the comment section below if you're still watching. I appreciate you guys tuning into the to the video, man. All right, so now we're almost there. I think that looks pretty good. It could be closer, but you know, yeah, that's almost there, man. Always clip your layers so you don't get confused why it's not showing. That that looks good. And the sleeve for as for the sleeves, I'm gonna do the same thing. The Lakers sleeves are usually um, they're usually white. Swap 
is pretty much done. I'm gonna be back once it's all finished up and I got everything all cleaned up, okay? <laughs> Alright y'all, so this is the final product. We got Damian Lillard as a Laker, man. You guys let me know what you think. Hope this tutorial helped you out a lot. I tried guiding you through like pretty much all the steps, guided you through all the steps. It's, as you guys can see, it's not too hard to create this. You just gotta have a good awareness for your colors and you gotta make sure you get all the minute details. You gotta think about perspective, colors, shades, stuff like that, man. You're gonna be all set. So if you guys enjoyed this video and tutorial, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're almost at 700 subscribers. Hopefully we can, we can hit that before the time this video goes up or after. So until next time, it's been Calso Scope. Let me know what you want to see on the next video, man. And until then, I'm out. Peace.